Well, with the way that he's selling tickets at the moment, you would have to say Ed Sheeran is the biggest artist in the world there. Galway girl, it is Fitzy and Whipper with you on Nova. Happy Friday. Uh, Russell Crowe has stuck around, and we were lucky enough, Russell, you came along to the Opera House for Nova's Red Room that night to see Ed, and Whipper and I, still one of the biggest regrets of our life. It's hard to talk about, to be honest. When we went so home... So soft. <laughs> yeah, it was unbelievable. So soft. Well, we had to be up at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, so did Ed, mate. Ed was on Sunrise that morning singing. What do you guys have to do? Uh, <laughs> push a button and say, oh, Matt, please take over. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you throw a bit of honesty into the situation? But how did Is that, this thing on? How did that friendship with Ed start? How did you guys become mates? Um, I th- well, just through people that we mutually know, mm. you know to start with. And uh, he was on tour here and he was getting a bit burnt out, so he came up and stayed at the farm. Oh, great. Days. And just got some sleep, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, and then we just, you know, became conversational mates. And, and, and he has subsequently gone back to the farm with his uh, fiance wow. for, for more time and stuff, you know. But that night in Sydney, <laughs> he's going, like, I've got this big tour coming up, right? Yeah. So I can't do this thing where I'm, like, on water. You know, I've got to be able to have a drink after the show. It's sort of like, you know, help me relax and everything. Wind but down, I, I, I yeah. can't be doing five or six beers a night. Because, yeah, sure. you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be like, um, I'll be twice the man after the tour, yep. you know. Yep. And um, so I said to him, look, this is what I've been doing lately, you know. So I showed him, I got a, a water jug. In fact, I took all of the things that I needed mm-hmm. to show him backstage. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I turned up with eskies and stuff. You know? <laughs> because I just, I just wanted to, to do it sure, the right sure. way. So here's the jug, full to the top with ice. Take your bottle of Silver Patron yeah, right. and empty the entire contents over the ice. And now you wait. And he's like, what, what do you mean? I said, just wait. You've got to, got to give it like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So we can't have a drink now, so just, just wait. Just wait. Right? Right. Cool. Patience. So we had a little, you know, wait, and I put a little bit of passion fruit on top, oh. right? Stir it around, right? Then I take that mixture, pour it over fresh ice, right? Yeah. And a little touch of water. Oh, okay. Nice. So now you've got the ice has sunk into the yeah. uh, the tequila, yeah, right? Yeah. You've actually added fresh water as well, and you've got fresh ice. So there's a large amount of water in this. Yeah. And when he sips it, he's like, oh, wow, that's really light, and it's refreshing, and you can do two or three of those. Like, yeah. So we proceed to actually knock off the entire bottle of tequila. <laughs> Right? But he, you know, he's texting me at five o'clock in the morning on his way to sunrise, going, "I feel fine. You know, oh. I got a few hours sleep and everything. You know, what's the secret?" And I said, "Mate, it's the water, right? Wow. Because you're hydrating yeah. as you're drinking, you so doing? you can have a little bit of a drink, but you're not going to get the killer yeah, yeah. hangover, you know." And now he's so an alcoholic I, again. <laughs> well, no, I saw him in London recently, you know, and he's like, "Man, you got me so like in so much trouble." And I'm like, "What, what are you for? talking about?" He goes, "Well, you know, I went to New York, right?" And I had to have this dinner with this Rolling Stone guy, this journalist, you know? And he said, so what, you know, what would you like to drink? And he goes, oh, I'll show you. Yeah. This thing that Russell Crowe taught me. He goes, and it took him a while to find the passion fruit, but, you know, I'm pouring the tequila, right, the same amount, you know, as you poured, right, and putting the passion fruit on top, and he's drinking it straight. So he's having four or five ounces of tequila per oh, glass. No. So he thinks... You know, he's had a normal night. He wakes up the next morning, speaks to his security bloke, Kev, you know, good good man. Yeah. He goes, you know, last night was pretty good. I feel a bit rough. And everything. Kev was like stony faced. And he's like, <laughs> what's wrong? And, he, and he's like, last night was all right, was it? And he goes, yeah, wasn't it? He goes, you took your shoes off. <laughs> In the middle of the... We're in Manhattan. <laughs> in the, one of those fancy restaurants, and, and you've taken your shoes and socks off. <laughs> What's going on with that? And everybody's looking at you. And then you lick that woman's face. You're oh, kidding and me. And it's like, I did what? And he's You're like, kidding me. For the first time in his life, he's experienced like this three-hour blackout. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going, what did you do to me? And I said, I said, well, did you pour it over ice? Did I what? Did, oh, I did, did you add water? Ice. Did I what? Listen, Edward. <laughs> Edward. The, the principal. This is your father's The principal speaking. piece of wisdom I was yeah. passing on to you is the hydration aspect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, so oh. stop licking faces, Ed Sheeran. I think, I think the best thing about that story is Russell Crowe rocking up to the Sydney Opera House with an esky and getting in. <laughs>